So let's talk about reverb zones and how we can use it. Um, so this map doesn't have anything right now. We built it in another video and uh, it doesn't have any reverb zone or anything special. Um, these reverb zones affect mainly all sounds played. Um, but that also means your voice. So when you are doing voice commands, uh, not voice commands, but you are talking to each other in game, uh, the other person's voice is also affected by that. So that can be some pretty good um, effects if you are inside a cave or inside a church or inside a house or outside. Um, but first, before we do anything, let's just um, switch to the map. Um, let's switch to the map. Uh, mod here and let's build it quickly just to hear how it sounds by default without us doing anything so we go in here we go to stana and we go down here Boom. so let's stop the music and just listen to how i think we just take one of these because it's pretty so we listen in here so that was it here and we can go in here. It's even more uh, clear when you're talking voice. So you can see it's pretty much the same. Okay, let's go out. So adding these reverb zones is actually pretty easy in Unity. Um, the problem right now is that it's only a sphere shape. Um, so Fitting it into the house is kind of weird. Uh, I do plan to might add some scripts so you can be a little more specific in where it should work, but I will do another video about that when and if I do that. But for now, let's just first create, uh, let's see, it's uh, audio, audio reverb zone. So let's just call this um, the global one, for instance. And as you can see here to the right, first of all, let's place it in the center and see that's here maybe here and let's just make it a little bigger so this is something that should and you can do again you can use these perspective things and hit f, uh, you can hit f to kind of center on it and then you can see it's below you can just we do maybe something like this and then we can drag this over here this is the outermost where the effect is this is where it's very low and outside here the effect is not there and inside the little sphere the, the effect is like 100 percent so if we do something like like this and just say we want this effect to be kind of all over the place basically because reverb zones inside this zone should override the effect but let's hear it out so this is the global one so let's set that to um and just to make it make it 30 and let's make it 70 boom um let's say let's just take the generic one out here so the general one is the generic one and then let's do another one let's make one called um, house reverb zone and let's place it inside the house again it's easier to place these things if you are looking at looking at it from this kind of um, non-perspective view because it can be very hard to place things in 3d like that so now we're inside the house here and let's make it smaller a lot smaller actually yeah I, you can do it in view here you can also change it over here uh, it's the same um, let's see here and now you can see the problem of this being a sphere right because <laughs> It's going pretty much outside the house. Remember, when you're playing, you if you don't know it, you might not recognize it that much, but um, let's try it just like this. Again, I might add some scripts so you can make it much more strictly inside the house. Um, but again, I will do a video about that. So now we're in a house. So let's say that is the living room one. So we put that living room there. And then let's just copy this one I'll do a duplicate control D and let's make a um, mountain one and let's move this over here to the mountain which I missed but uh, yeah. again let's do like this move it up here it's at the top of the mountain 
want another effect. Oops. Let's see if it's on top of the mountain here. It's not. Now it's on top of the mountain. So when we get up here, if I can get up here, I don't know, but yes. And let's place, give that a, a mountains reverb zone. And just because I want to test some, one of the funny ones, where can we do that? Um, there's nothing really that makes sense here, but let's copy this one again and let's let it, let's call it, um, uh, we call it cave just for the fun of it. And let's just pretend that there is a cave over here. So let's take it, um, let's do like this again, just to place it. Oops. Ah, come on, come on. So let's just place it over here down here so let's see so let's just pretend that there is a cave over here um, behind our starting locations so in this corner there should be a cave over here so let's say that it's the cave one again it's most clear with with speech when you're talking to people but um, you can also hear it on fireworks hopefully so let's uh, now we have added these four and you can see them all here. There's the general one, there is the house one, mountain one and and the cave one. <laughs> it of course works best or look and feel best if it's actually in a cave. But anyway, now it's just the testing. But having these placed, they really add a lot when you're talking with people in game. It's crazy. Um, so let's take the map here and let me stop the music. So here we are. So where are we starting? Okay. So this is the generic one. Let's go over here where we fired off this one before. Let's hear if we can hear a difference. Just that I'm walking around, you can maybe hear that it's echoey this generic is very echoey actually more than it should be and now let's go in here oh i think i need to turn up actually the fx volume that would be a good idea hmm oh you can hear it here on the on the footsteps because actually I think that um, firecracker actually have a, some kind of reverb thing built into the sound but the footsteps don't actually most you can hear most on the on the footsteps really that's why i'm not saying anything into the cave uh, the cave should be here So, by the way, you can teleport put on T if you look at something and there's a max distance, but uh, this small map you can teleport everywhere. Just look at it and hit T and then you get to that location. Um, but I hope you can hear the difference here, especially on the flashlight. But again, believe me, when you're talking with people in-game, on the, you know, holding C to do in-game proximity chat, it's really making a big difference. Now, in this case, it doesn't really fit because there are no cave and this is very reverby for just being an open space. And this mountain might not actually be that mountainish. 
and big, um, but the house works pretty well here. You can hear sound becomes much more, you know. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's basically reverb sounds. Yeah, that's it. Pretty nice.